Hey everyone, this is Eloise. Just uh, wanted to show how I've done this abstract. Um, had a couple people ask me how to do it, and I'm terrible at explaining these things. Just thought I'd go ahead and show you, and uh, let's get going real quick. Uh, first of all, of course, water. Cutesy little water holder. Um, got a credit card that was cut in half, so I can use small ends or the big end. Uh, spray bottle with some water in it, something round, doesn't matter. Brush, preferably hold lots of water. Um, fourth page of the Canson. Um, I like this. I know it's a uh, cheaper brand, but hey, it works fabulous for me and I love it. Um, and four or five colors, whatever colors you're wanting to make out of this. Um, I have learned the about four is it, or maybe five for an accent color. Um, so let's get going. So what I've done is I get paper towel because you're going to be dripping a lot and because you add water to make these colors run. And what I do is take my credit card, set some stuff off, and I'm going to moisten my palette. And what I do here is just get it kind of moist so the credit card will run through the color. Uh, I just take the edge and scrape it, and then I'll scrape it on my paper. And that's how I kind of go about um, getting my initial uh, markings here. So I usually divide the page into half or a third, wherever you're wanting your main line, and I'll work on just that bottom. Then I'll go up and work on the top. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to scrape my card through my color. And these are two paints that I have just put into a palette. I let them dry. I like them better that way. Um, just my personal liking here. Kind of go through and I'll make a harsh line like that. If you want to add some fun, drag it. And you can do that tight. Then, clean that off. I go to my next color, which is going to be the green. Again, scrape it through. Make a line. Scrape it if you want. I usually like to because I just like that added texture. Um, quite a bit of paint still on there. I usually like to do a better job at that. Now, Here's the fun part. I just touch the water to it and run it down. And now I just let it do its thing. I let it run as much as it wants. Oh, I'm outside, so I'll, I have bugs. I don't know if y'all can hear the crickets, it's really cool. But this is where I come and find my sanity. It's outside at night, under my fan, on my deck. So then with the purple, now here's another way you can do it. Let that run. Now, you're going to get some up here unless you put a card over the top. I just let it do what it wants to. So there's two ways to kind of do those colors. Now normally, I have three or four of these going at a time. I would set this off to the side, let it kind of get dry, not all the way. Um, I definitely get this puddling here. Now, but since I'm only going to do the one, I'm going to go ahead and dry it just a tad. I don't want it soaking because I don't want it really running down into the upper part. But I want it enough that I can kind of still play with it in a minute. So here's this. and don't worry about it bowing up because it will flatten out when you go to uh, dry it. Let's see. Colors. Red is above the purple, so I'm gonna do that. These are either M. Graham, Daniel Smith. Uh, who else do I have on here? Core. So it's one of those. Now, normally here, but I, since I sprayed it, it's not gonna have the white spot. But I go in under it. I don't make them necessarily touch. And 
then blue. Hmm, yellow turquoise. A little bit of the dark, dark blue, ultramarine, but let's see what that does. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit. You'll go in and fill this in later. stubborn. That's okay. Now, again, take a brush, kind of wet that one side, and I help it along the way because I do want it to be all the way down. Goodness, I should have known bringing these lights under here would not be my friend tonight. See, you can kind of see you've got the base to all this. Now, let's hit that with the dryer. Next, this is the fun part. This is the part I like the best. Okay, this is just a tad beyond shine. So it's kind of not really dry, but it's getting there. Oh, sorry about all the bugs. Take my card and let's say I'm going to do some brown. And I'm going to make a mark here. This is where I meant by that fifth color kind of accent. I have no game plan. Just whatever floats your boat. Do it. Enjoy it. First night I did this, I threw caution to the wind, and whatever I wanted to do, I did, and I've loved it. So that's pretty cool. And all of them come out different. After I did the first one, I tried to make the second one come out just like it, and couldn't do it at all. Now, that's all I'm going to do on that. Take your round. Now, you do the same thing with this. You put it in your paint. Your paint's just barely soft. You don't have to completely cover it. Just do a little bit here and there to give you a ununiformed look. Um, just decide what color you want to do. So if you want to do a little bit of brown, then maybe, uh, maybe a green. Brown and green. And I'm gonna stick it. I'm still down here. And that's all you do. If you want more, you put more. At this point, you do what you want to do. So then I'm gonna go through because I don't like white uh, for some reason. I'm one of those that just I don't want white in my stuff. So I'm gonna go through and wet that down a little bit. If it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And there you go. Pretty fast. It's a postcard, or you can do it as a card or a big picture. So enjoy and have fun.